Welcome back, everybody. It's kind of a weird start here, but it is day seven. We're back in the great debate about whether to venture off and or build the crockpot is upon us. So we've kind of ventured around. We've kind of explored this island. There's lots of, there's lots of just, it's just a nice general island. It's kind of hard to explain that if you've never played this before, but I mean, we've got bees. We've got some food. Uh, we've got limpets, which are things that are on these rocks here. We've also got this gigantic jungle biome, which uh, if you played this a little bit, if we had monkeys, that would be really helpful. But regardless of whether you have or you haven't played this before, we've got this treasure island over here, and I'm completely just totally interested in going over there. So pretty much decided that already we're gone we're just gonna make a run for it yellow day seven now if you've never played this before you've never seen this mechanic like watch right around here you're gonna see little water droplets right there now the reason that's important is if we were to wander around in the water and it's going up right now now it's starting to go down because we're on a raft and about it. You're in a raft, you're in water, so you're kind of drying out. When and if it rains, uh, one of the things that's going to happen is that uh, that's going to go up. And if it goes up high enough, the sanity meter, it's kind of convenient that it's right next to it, the sanity meter is going to go down. So I know I've said that before, but I just wanted to bring it up again because if you have played this enough and you're just running around like a donkey and you're plowing into tides as they come at you and you're like, why am I going crazy? That's why you're going crazy. You're plowing into tides. So, so this is another thing. Uh, uh, is it Winston? No, it's Wilson. Wait, <laughs> I don't remember what his name is. <laughs> He's a basic guy we start with. He just said I sprung a leak, and down here there's a little ship mechanic here, and it says 150.74. So there is a timer on these boats, and that is pretty far away. Oh, I'm just gonna risk it. So, cool thing here is you can slam it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did it. Right into the back of tides here. And you get a little speed up. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. There you go. Feeling it. This is cool. I like this part of the game, though. It's really fun. Kind of running around. Looking for crazy stuff. Praying and hoping you don't destroy your boat yes it's like a weird little mini game of gasmic tide riding going here we're here yeah, we're so far away now you can get boats that are faster like we're just starting out here like if you go back into this nautical tab while we're rolling around here we're just rolling around this log raft. It's slow as hell. We gotta actually work to use it. There are boats that you can click, uh, you can make that will, you can have sails, things like that. So technically your hands are free. So like that, I don't know if you watched the first couple videos, but the first night or two, um, I was standing in a coral reef at one point just holding a torch because if I would have rowed, we would have died because my hands would have been basically used. So you can see the ones that down here that have locks on them. There's rowboats, which, like I just said, obviously that would be using our hands. There's a boat repair kit, which is great. You know, people have played this before and recognize that one of the middle is a stinger, so we'd have to get these. Uh, but right here is this is the cool stuff: thatch sail, feather light sail. And boat torch so you can run around at night. Uh, we just got into, um, you can kind of see it here, a little line. It's lighter water, so that means there's going to be um, ground around here. But if we go back real quick, there's boat lanterns, boat cannons, you know, because you know, pirates, they are greater than ninjas. Just get over it. Um, sea traps, throw nets, things like that. Um, what I was going to get to, and I'm going to show this really quick while we're just standing here waiting around, is pirate hats. Oh my god, life jackets. Oh my god. Captain hats. 
there are uh, different kind of boats, and one of them is an armored boat, which I just total ass hat under nautical. Like if you're standing next to a science machine, you can make something called an armored boat and a cargo boat and stuff like that. So for if you played this before, we just came over here, and there's this big X in the ground. So like. God, I love pirates, and this is just <laughs> the epitome of everything right here. Skull and crossbones right there on the ground. So you need to have a shovel. That's why we want to get to the science machine earlier. Now, if you've never dug one of these up, you do need to be a little careful because sometimes you get snakes that come up, but we're just going to go for it. Ah, okay, there they are. All right. It's going to run I'm like a little girl. I have a spear. Yeah, a spear. Yep. Like I said, if you've not watched this before, um, I was talking about fighting stuff. You don't really want to fight stuff in mobs. So this one's solo. I'm gonna go over here and hit the F key. It's just gonna, I'm just gonna hold the F key down and it's just gonna spam attacks. This guy's by himself. I'm gonna wait for him to attack. And I'm gonna like, uh, Korean sidestep. Oh yeah, APM for life. Mechanical keyboard, you know. Oh my God, it's so good. It's so good. Uh, get me. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, you're done. You're done. Feel the burn. Suck at Tony Horton. Alright. Alright, so now we can actually get into the chest. <laughs> Alright. So, pretty underwhelming. <laughs> Usually the chest is full of cool stuff. Um, that is a chest. It's got stuff stuff in it um this isn't the only treasure chest you can find and i know i'm kind of like being like totally disappointed about this but these are good things they're not terrible we can use these doubloons and we can make more gold out of them or we can use them in uh it's a slot machine r.i.p your lemmy you know one our bandit you can use them in that if you find it eventually and you can get really cool stuff out of it but it's sort of a chance it's a game of chance it's one arm bandit um or there's a blue gem, which we also got, which we kind of have never really ventured into yet. There's a magic element to this game. So we're into wizards. It's a cool thing. I don't get into it too much, uh, but there are really cool things in it. There's a thing called the uh, meat effigy as an example, as I'm about to go into the darkness and die, which I've never really talked about. But there's a mechanic if you just go into straight darkness during the game. Um... There are these hands and just random things that will just kill you. Which we don't want to have happen. Alright. That was... Day seven. My god, that went fast. We have boatloads of food still. If anything gets yellow, we'll just kind of cook it off. But our hunger's pretty high. Like, I can hover over here. If I was just completely OCD about it, I'd be like, Alright, this gives me nine health. I have a maximum of 150, I have 145, so it's pointless to click on it, so I'm not going to click on it. But I have enough stuff now where it is worth my time to make uh, something called a crock pot, which we probably want to go back to our original island for. Um, not because it's special in any sense, but just because we have stuff there already, and there's lots of trees there, and we need to burn them down to make charcoal. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little run around and just kind of do some basic maintenance, grab some twigs, and grass, and stuff like that. And off we'll go. And I know I was talking about the magic element of the game before, but what happens with this is the blue gem is an example that we found is you can combine it with other stuff and you can make like ice staffs and freeze people or fire staffs. But to me, the biggest component of uh, of going down the magic stuff is that you can make something called a meat effigy. And what that does is it allows you to um, have an extra life. So if you're a Gen Xer like me and you've played arcade games and literally you're pumping <laughs> coinage into a machine and you have a finite amount of lives, I think this is why this game appeals to me is that it has that element of very risky behavior. Like you're rewarded for playing safe and smartly and trying something over and over again. And once you become familiar with it, you get a little bit more rewarded for it. 
Um, but the bottom line is you you certainly can get yourself extra lives. And to do so is something called the meat effigy. Now this is still in beta. Shipwrecked is still in beta. So it's not like the regular game where there are these things called touchstones. Where it literally gives you an extra life. Like if you touch it, you get an extra life. Um, that's not totally true with Shipwrecked. As far as I know, I don't think there's any uh, touchstones in the game quite yet. So, But it'll probably be there. And Reign of Giants isn't in, in here. If there was, I probably wouldn't play it because it's hard enough, I think, just because there's a lot less land. There's a lot less resources. To have giants in the game would be really daunting. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Reign of Giants is um, it's another DLC on top of the original game. So there's just original Don't Starve, which is running around land, starve. And there's Reign of Giants, which adds seasons like the original game i believe there's only two i just hit a tide there so you can kind of see the water stuff pop up over here and in the original there's only two so there's sort of like an autumnish. it's very mild kind of like the one we're in right now and then there's a winter which nothing vegetable wise really grows there's actually snow on the ground and there's a cold mechanic you have to deal with so it becomes harder you have to you know to move around actually becomes harder which we'll see pretty soon air quotes here if we make it through the wild season um but reign of giants what it does is it, it literally adds four seasons and you have a season of spring where it's just incessant rain and there's some bouts of cold you've got summer which is crazy hot and you have to have different things in place to keep yourself cool um as though you're some like no peace in middle america that must have ac and stuff like that okay now that thing i just ran into that is i don't want to attack it. it's called a stinkray and it has a venomous attack and if i attack it it's gonna basically kill me so i'm just gonna avoid it which is a good rule of thumb for this game is if you don't know what it is you don't know how to deal with it just avoid it as i'm totally not avoiding every tide I'm completely saturated in water. My insanity is just plummeting now. It's just, just bad. But we will make it. So, But the rest of Reign of Giants is just has these really cool. It does have cool seasons mechanics, but they are just very, very abusive. And we just got really lucky. We found another message in a bottle. So I'm going to try to eat this one piece of food to make room in my inventory. Grab it. What we really need to do is we need to take care of ourselves and get dry quickly. So even though it's the middle of the day, we're going to actually make a fire because we're going back to that original island. So we're going to make a fire, we're going to dry off, and our boat's about to deteriorate, so we need to get off anyways. And uh, get some food in us, dry off, and then we're going to check out this map real quick. So we're almost out of logs, so it's probably the one thing we you can see as I stand closer, this chiminea, look at that moisture just plummets. And now if I go over here, it slows down. It's pretty cool. It, it's I mean, it's not cool, cool, but it's conscious of the fact that you're close to something that's a heat source and it'll drive down your moisture very rapidly. But you can see like my my sanity is is diving until I get this dealt with. So you can understand, you get a sense of like when we go into the next seasons, if I don't like handle water. I'll go crazy. And when you go crazy, which we probably will, crossing our fingers, we get through the next couple seasons, um, there will be things that pop up and they'll just totally attack us and smoke us. You know. Alright, so I'm dry and my sanity's still going down and I'm not quite sure. Oh, I'm, I'm see all my stuff is wet still? Down here is a little blue outline around stuff, so I'm gonna stay here till this all gets dry. Okay, it's all dry now. My sanity stopped going down, so it's a weird little mechanic, but you just gotta be conscious of it now. Um, before we run off, I'm gonna try to stuff stuff I have in my. Okay, I have shells. I can get those. Uh, I don't need those. I do need to get some wood though because it's starting to get dark run around and grab some of that real quick. I'm going to grab the stuff that's got these bigger trees because we have coconuts we can make stuff out of. We want to make 
more chests really quick too because we have a lot of stuff in our inventory right now. So these rocks again, they have limpets on it, which are kind of a food source, so that's why this island's really kind of a, it's a nice little place to be. It's, we're very fortunate because we don't have to deal with some of the, well, as long as you don't venture too far, we don't have to venture, like, deal with some of the really hard food mechanics of this game. But. All right, we got some wood. So we're just gonna back store some of this junk. All right, so just turned to night. So I'm gonna try to make. See, I only have six wood, which is I'm not gonna make any chests at this point. Let's see where our next treasure map is. All right, so we scroll out. Oh my gosh, we were so lucky. <laughs> so we're right here. You can just go kind of down to the left here. So again, we our, the boat we have is pretty much trashed like if we get on that and go too far it's just going to deteriorate so we don't want to mess around with that so we need to make a new boat if if we want to go to this other island but if we zoom into it you see all these skulls around it those are survivors so we we found a survivor earlier and they have stuff laying around them so even if we don't dig up that there's going to be just sweet stuff there so I'm gonna dump stuff on the ground. This stuff won't, well, it will blow away. That is a difference between this and Reign of Giants in the regular game is, yeah, you can throw stuff on the ground, but in this game, there's wind mechanics. So you can throw it on the ground and best of luck if it starts getting windy because it's gonna be gone. So, not like making chests is a huge ordeal, but we certainly wanna we want to make a chest and put stuff stuff in there, so. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to take a chill day. Day 9 is just going to be kind of a chill day. We're going to get our stuff up or get our wood up. Pause. Pause for that. And then, uh, <laughs> then we're going to venture off. We're going to see what we can find. So. Alright. Go down here. There's all these little crates too. We haven't talked about this yet, but there is a tool um, called the hammer that you can make, and you can smash those. There's, so there's a few things in the game that you can actually smash. I don't think you can like smash rocks, and you can't smash trees. But it's kind of the same idea as a shovel. Like I can go over here and I can dig this grass up. The same thing with the hammer is you can smash th certain things. All right. So Wilson, you're paying attention. Wilson's getting up here like a good man that he is so at some point we can shave him and there's a mechanic that. what's up what's up snack what's out bro all right so we're we're getting wood that's why we're doing this whoop there's another snake there's another snake. There's some more gold i'm running around because that boulder had gold in it i really want that all right i'm gonna pick up so we had a garland at one point his hair is amazing but the garland does eventually rot. Some of the stuff on your, your person will actually rot off. So, uh, let's see, APMs, APMs for life. Yep, I'm dodging. Oh, okay, suck it. So, you can you can pick a stuff up, but it might rot if you make certain things, or like food and things like that will rot. So it's just something to be conscious of. So if you see something like a green outline, just be aware that like, it could probably rot on you. So. I want to get 12 of these because I want to get another garland and then I'm going to chop wood and then we're going to burn a bunch of trees down because we're going to make a crock pot and we're just going to call it because what we're going to do after that is go look for the new treasure so here's the garland again a flowers sanity high now these are jungle trees if we cut those down we could get snakes, which is fine. But if we get a venomous one and we get tagged, we're gonna die. So, just to play it safe, which is half the mechanics of this game, I'm gonna go up here by the beach and cut down palm trees instead. And I'm gonna set jungle trees on fire. Um, so I'm gonna cut down the, the palm trees because 
the worst case scenario, I'm using air quotes for myself, is that we'll get these things called tree guards and they'll throw um, coconuts on our head and kill us. There's just, there's a lot, I mean, snakes are just bad. Like, you can just dodge some of this other stuff, but some of the snake mechanics are just kind of sucky. So, uh, if you've played this before, yeah, we could make seashell armor, but we're not going to do that quite yet. We're just going to do some of the basic stuff, like get the crockpot going. Play it safe. Play smart. It's relaxed and fun. And now I'm going to, like, see you get the little stumps here. I'm just always going to switch over and grab the shovel, clean these up. Now, I haven't done this yet, but we have 31 coconuts. So, we have a little base over here. So, if we're sick of running around grabbing stupid trees all the time, what we could do, we are going to do this, is <laughs> find more bases. Take the coconuts, and they're like pine cones. If you played the regular game, they, they behave the same way. So, we're going to plant these just in wherever we could. We could eat these too. Um, we could cook them and eat them. Like, if you just try to eat them right now, see right now, Nothing. There's no option, but if we go cook a few, they will uh, be edible. We're not going to do it. A ton and ton. Maybe 20 ish. I think we had 25 maybe when we started. But this again, this is a reason why, like when I was talking earlier about getting a lightning rod, this is one of the reasons we want to do that because we got a lot of stuff growing around here now. Like if we have a fire, we're kind of hosed, so. We might do that real. We we'll, might do that at night when we're just kind of messing around. We'll we'll build a lightning rod if I can remember. Build a lightning rod, <laughs> and um, yeah, that other thing. I already forgot what it is. Right. I really like it. So relaxing, just chill. All right, we still want more wood. So this is this is one of those things I think I mentioned earlier. There's stacks here. These go to 40. I believe wood is one that only goes to 20. Maybe. Find out in just a sec. More coke. Now every time we cut down these trees, like you think there's always a chance that we could like conjure a tree guard or something terrible, so I don't know, I haven't played this game enough just in this regular form, I'm just real squeamish about doing anything. So you see right here it went to twenty and then there's this there's two here, so yeah, for whatever reason, sticks and grass are forty and logs are twenty. There are mods out there that I think I've never downloaded them. They will let you go to like stacks at ninety nine and stuff like that. I don't know. I mean, it's fine. I mean, who's to say, like, a little, you know, like, Edward Gorey, like, little guy like this, or with 46 and 40 stacks of grass, and you can argue it's a game. You do whatever you want, but to me, it feels just a little cheaty, just, but I can see why people would certainly just grab that mod, because it's just for fun, you know. Alright, so we're doing lightning rods, chests, Things like that. That's what we did. So I'm gonna go down to refine, make some boards real quick. Make three of those. You go to structures, go to chest really good, and my OCD says put the chest right next to the other. I'm just gonna pick this junk up, throw it in here. And it is Right here, you can see this is a little full moon icon. This is the one, one of two or three nights that, that you run around in a season where you don't need to have a fire. You don't need to be worried about it. So what we're gonna do? We talked about this earlier. Is we're gonna do a crock pot and we need to get charcoal. So I'm gonna go to light. And there's a torch here, which is a tool. If I equip it, it's gonna be using it. But so I'm not gonna equip it quite yet. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to actually set some trees on fire because I want them to burn into charcoal and I hate snakes and it's, you know, just click on a tree and you run away. And adios.
things. If you're paying attention right there with the torch itself, there's a little life sort of life bar on it. So I'm gonna just click on another thing real quick and kinda hope these Oh my god, so hungry. Oh, so hungry. Alright, now I don't know if you can hear this in the background. Wilson's saying, did you hear that? Now we're at day nine. <laughs> this will be a real fun place to stop. Um I think it's day 9 and 10, you actually get the mechanic where there's hounds that are going to show up. So what we're going to do, oh great, there's wind too. Whoa, there they are, hello. No more explanation, just fighting. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up to my base here quick. These things will come, more of these hounds will spawn as the game goes on. We only have two to deal with right now. So I'm going to try to string them out and just fight them one at a time. Kind of kite him. He would to bite you and you run and run away and then kind of go for him. So we only got two. It's the first time of the year. So they drop monster meat, which is good. Okay, we're not dead. Thank God. But we do need to worry about food because we kind of dinked around here. So, last thing we're going to do today is just kind of throw some fire on here, cook some of the stuff up get our food up and we're gonna call it what we're gonna do next time is go grab our shark and make ourselves a crock pot so again thanks for stopping by i hope you had fun and talk to you soon as the rain starts oh how depressing talk to you later